Okay, okay, that's um enough of, of that. Come in, come in. Um it's um Bloom, I presume. It's Mr Bloom, actually. Sit down, Bloom. As I said, it's, it's, it's Mr. Bloom. Mr. Bloom, just sit down, please, Bloom. I shall address you as I see fit. Hey, have you noticed I've, I've turned up, kitted out and, and ready for action? Presumptuous, Bloom. Presumptuous, I might say. This is an interview, not a practical examination. And what do you have in that plastic bag you're carrying? Hey. This, Claude, is a gift I brought along for you. A, a, a prize squash. Hang on, don't get it out just yet, not just yet, as I too have my own prize squash in this bottom drawer. Hey, I tell you what, Claude, you don't mind me calling you Claude, do you? If you show me yours, I'll show you mine. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? I sometimes play this game with, with Lord Sugar. Come on then, Claude. Let's get him out. Da 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 Oh, sorry, Claude, but mine's massive compared to yours. Oh dear, that's what Lord Sugar always says as well. Yours is a two pound tiddler, Claude, whereas mine Mine's a five pounder. Easy. Look at the size. Look at the bulbosity and the girth of this. Oh, that's what exactly what Lord Sugar ends up saying as well. Sorry, Claude, but I've just got to say it. I've got, I've got a real whopper and you're just a tiddler, I'm afraid. Let's not get started on that nonsense, Bloom. Let's not get started on that. Calling me Mr. Bloom would be a bit more courteous, you know, Claude. I suppose you're going to tell me now that it's a, a talking squash, are you, as well? No, I've left Raymond at the nursery today, Claude, so this one is a mute squash. We won't get any chatter from him. So pleased to hear that. So pleased to hear that, Bloom. So, you are here this morning for interview. Lord Sugar has £250 per day to invest in a new gardener for his extensive garden and grounds. Would that be £250 in, in cash, Claude? Yes, so long as Lord Sugar is satisfied with the work, it'll be £250 in your back pocket, no questions asked. Great! Taxman don't need to know about everything, does he? On my CBB salary alone, I'm struggling now to be able to finance my wild sex parties at the weekends. Oh, these um, wild sex parties at the weekends. I don't suppose that uh, Molly King attends, does she? I'm not sure, Claude. I don't think so. Scary Spice turns up now and again, though. No, no, it has to be Molly. I can put some feelers out, Claude. What do you think about that? Feelers? Oh, if only, if only. Back to the matter of the gardener position, Claude. May I ask her, what happened to the previous gardener? He was good, but uh, one morning he made the fatal error of turning up wearing an Arsenal shirt. Lord Sugar fired him on the spot. Let that be a lesson to you, Bloom. Noted. Now, I have studied your one-page resume. You'll never make a novelist, will you, Bloom? I'm a gardener, through and through, Claude, a gardener. It says here that you are interacting with puppet vegetables. Now I have a more prominent role on the Apprentice TV show. I think that I should be doing much of the same. Hey, congratulations on that, Claude. You'll definitely add a new dynamic to the show. Yes, I will. Okay, so a few basic gardening questions from me. What are the essential components of a gardener's toolkit? 
A. That's easy, Claude. Spade. Fork. Shovel. Trowel. Wheelbarrow. And to complete my arsenal. Don't use that word. It'll be your downfall, Bloom. Believe me. A. I'll have to be so careful, Claude. And another tool you may have forgotten to mention. How about Piers Morgan? Oh, I'm starting to like you, Bloom. And shears, of course. I've got the very latest in cutting edge technology. You get it? Cutting edge. Hey, what's that noise, Claude? Sounds like you've got your own composterium in here. There it is again. Hey, hey, stand back, Tiddler. Will you please stop addressing me as Tiddler Bloom, you cheeky radish. Hey, that's one of mine, that is. Mine's milk and two sugars, please. You'll be long gone, Bloom, long gone before it's time for my coffee and biscotti. Now, ah yes, Lord Sugar has his annual summer garden party in a few weeks' time. Yes, summer garden party, you say, Claude, to impress the glitterati attending this event. Lord Sugar insists, yes, insists on his lawns being impeccable. Impeccable? That's a real challenge, that is, Claude. What happens if it rains the day before? And I can't possibly control the birds from flying down and pecking for worms. No, impeccable, unblemished. He's had an attack of moles recently. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that, Claude. He needs to cover up and use plenty of sunscreen. I say that to all the tiddlers, you know. Will you stop calling me Tiddler Bloom? It couldn't be further from reality. I, Lord, I mean Claude Littner, am a giant. Yes, a giant in the business world. Oh, sorry, Claude. It's force of habit. I was wondering, Claude, does Lord Sugar suffer with moss? Thankfully not. It's poor old Philip Green who always has to put up with her tantrums. Now, moving on. Lord Sugar has an expanding patch for his little gems. Hey, that's good. Everyone loves a little gem. Does he grill them? No, no, that's my job. Don't you watch the show, Bloom? The Apprentice? Yeah, but it's not a cooking show, is it? Are we talking about the same thing? Little gems, the Apprentice winners, the gnomes. Gnomes, Claude? Yes, gnomes. Each year, once the Apprentice winner has been announced, Lord Sugar commissions the production of a new gnome to add to his collection. They're all there, the winners. Oh, apart from Stella English Gnome, who was decapitated with a baseball bat a couple of years ago. Yes, an unfortunate incident, that. He has a temper, does he? Lord Sugar. Only when people push him to the limit. Mark my words, Bloom, you don't want to get on the wrong side of Lord Sugar. Now, a couple of nights ago, Lord Sugar had a countdown dinner with Carol Vorderman and Nick Loser. Sorry, I mean Nick Hewer. Lord Sugar was totally enamoured with the way that Carol Vorderman presented her brassicas. What would be your tips, Bloom? for the presentation of beautiful brassicas. A, I'd, I'd say, plant them late in the season, Claude. They thrive in cool conditions, you see. Do they indeed? I must actually give Carol Vorderman a call later to arrange a time to retrieve Lord Sugar's laminator. Laminator, Claude? Yes, she wished to borrow it to laminate a copy of her new pilot's license. 
The Red Baroness, they call her now, I understand. Oh, well, I know she likes to, how do I put this, display her wares, but I certainly wouldn't go that far, Bloom. Oh, just thought of another tool, Claude. Oh, yes, congratulations, Bloom. Hey, have I got the job then, Claude? No, congratulations on naming another tool. Oh, are you able to give me a, a, a sprinkling, I mean an inkling of how I fared then? Several more applicants to see, Bloom. Um, don't go decommissioning your composterium just yet. That would be my uh, advice. Right, who else am I interviewing today then? Um, uh, let me see. Uh, oh, Mr Bean, I have him down as, are you ready for this, Bloom? As one of the front runners. Bean, runners, runner, bean, get it? Mr Bean? You've got to be joking. Yes, Mr Bean, he has experience of carrying out gardening work for the aristocracy. Yes, for a lady, Chatterley. Quite some time ago, though. I need to grill him to see if he's still got it in him. Never know, he might be just the man we're looking for. And anybody else? A Callum Best. You what? I thought this was a proper job, not a TV reality show. Let me just have a quick scan of the uh, qualifications section on his resume. Now, what does it say? Probably something like, used to taking me top off and being out in the sun. Ah, here it is. Used to taking my top off and being out in the sun. We need a bit more than that, I'm afraid, Mr. Best. Hey, I'm telling you, Claude, I'm the best you can get. You're not related to him, are you? Another best? I thought you were a bloom. Are you a best masquerading as a bloom? I do hope you're not. No, no, Claude. You'll have to keep your shirt on, Bloom. Lord Sugar's wife is very easily titillated. When she comes in here, you know, in this office, she can't take her eyes off my tiny terrarium. I'll get back to you by the end of the week, Bloom. Goodbye. Here you go, Claude. Feel the weight of this five pound whopper of mine. You can keep that as a sweetener. And hey, that calendar of yours on the wall of the Saturdays. It's on the wrong month. We're in June now. Oh, it uh, never changes from uh, Molly. I mean May. It's my favourite um, month. Goodbye, Bloom. I'll, I'll, I'll be in touch. Bye, Claude. Oh, there's only one front runner, Bane, and that's my Colin. And as for Callum Best, he won't look anything like as good as me. Wearing wellies and a trilby. Hey, it's time to go and sow some of me precious seeds. I'm coming for you, ladies. Hold tight. <laughs>